Snip, snip, guys. It's time to get our cutting on. Hey, hey, guys. Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and we have cutting exercises. Obviously, you're going to need a pair of scissors, which I have here. Um, safety scissors, uh, smaller for children's hands, and much easier to cut with. So one of the easiest cutting activities to do for kids is to grab some Play-Doh, some clay, and roll out into a snake. Now the reason why this is such a great and easy way to learn cutting is because the dough itself is just really easy to cut through. So you cut yourself a snake, it stays pretty stable, and you just do some snipping. And the scissors just glide right through and you have little chunks. So when you're learning to use scissors, this is just a non-frustrating way to learn how to cut just snipping off little chunks of dough. Once that skill is mastered, try something else like straws. Now these are smaller straws. Um, they also have these bigger kind of milkshake straws that you could use. These are gonna be a little bit easier because they are thinner. Same thing, snipping, snipping off the straws. You wanna make sure you have actually good scissors here to do this. And it's easy because the straw itself stays in a really easy shape. It's not flimsy, it doesn't bend when you cut it. And then you can move on to the larger straws once that's mastered, just because they're gonna be just a little bit harder because they're thicker and bigger. Another way you can practice your cutting is to use something such as yarn. You can get all kinds of different colors from the craft store. And once again, learning how to cut the yarn. And it's just cutting it in little strips. Now what I like to do, just a little tip, is to have a little discard bucket and then all the little chunks and whatnot can go inside the discount discard bucket here and then you're going to find that you're going to end up with a lot of scraps. But that's okay because you can reuse all these scraps for collages or mosaics or something and use it for your arts and crafts. So let's move on to paper. Here's some construction paper. Uh, the heavier the paper, the easier it is going to be for your child to cut. So keep that in mind. You might want to find a heavier cardstock to begin with and then work your way down to lighter weight papers. And the reason, once again, the same as the straws, the stronger the paper, the thicker the paper, the less likely it will be to be flimsy and to move around on your child. For the first one, I'm going to cut some strips. I have a paper cutter here. You can get a paper cutter at your craft store or you can just cut these off by hand. And I'm going to kind of eyeball here how thick I want my strips. And I'm gonna draw some guidelines on here. And the reason why you wanna do guidelines is because it gives your child something visually to aim for, okay? So first you're gonna start off with just lines, okay? Space them about an inch and a half, two inches apart just to give them room. As they become more advanced, you can move your lines closer together. All right, so now I've got some lines done. So you're gonna to demonstrate to your child how to hold the scissors and how to cut the lines. And once again, they can put all of their pieces of paper on the discard bucket. So this is great practice. It's gonna take them a while because what you're gonna see is them just doing snips, which is fine. And then you're gonna see them doing trying to cut and not understanding to close their scissors, you're going to see them do kind of one of these numbers where they pull and it paper rips and they're going to think they cut, which is fine because that's actually very normal. But what you need to teach them is how to actually close the scissors to make the snip all the way through. If you want, another pre-cutting exercise would be those snips, creating fringe like so. And even just snipping off pieces of paper is great practice if they're not quite ready to cut on the line yet. So if you've passed on the fringe, you're getting pretty good at doing the straight lines, then you can move on to a different line which would be a diagonal. So just draw this line diagonally across on your strips. Several things, you can try zigzag. You can also try kind of a point like this. And then you can also try doing a curve. Now the curve one is gonna be the most difficult because they're gonna to have to learn how to turn the paper as they cut. You can try different shapes of paper such as this and do a spiral.
a square spiral. Excuse my drawing is not up to par for this. So there you have it guys, a whole bunch of different activities for every level of cutting. Make sure to click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and I will see you next time. And then you're going to do it on the second one, same exact thing.